The history of a people is often one of violence and death, of great triumphs and greater tragedies. Such is the grace of hindsight and age. Our world as we know it began with a small flicker of light and curiosity that flourished into an age of wonders and hope, followed by a millennia of peace. Until finally, we came into being. Strong and proud and utterly ruthless. But this is where their story starts. With a new age of innocence being born into a world forged of blood. Hello, and thank you for watching. We are so excited to bring Forge of Blood to Kickstarter and share this quick look at our pre-alpha footage. Our game will merge the traditional elements of RPGs with the modern sensibilities of game development, with a focus on meaningful choice. We will take players from a strategic layer to the tactical layer seamlessly. And what is interesting about our game is that in the order in which you choose your quests and the way in which you build your characters will really affect how you will approach combat. In this one instance, our player goes to the wrong location and must now backtrack and go to the right one. The wasted time will result in reinforcements having arrived on the map. Once in tactical combat, you can command up to five characters in your party, but your enemies can have much, much more. In keeping with our focus on meaningful choice, how you build your character will affect how you approach combat. We will have up to 9 different weapons, each with their own unique ability trees and multiple builds available to them. And of course, we will have magic. Magic in our game is very powerful and grounded in the lore of our world, and Forge of Blood will feature one of the most unique and expansive spellcrafting systems ever attempted in video games. I hope this has been interesting to you, and I will take you through our adventures in making this game. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm the executive producer of Force of Blood. Uh, my name is Igor Tanzel. I'm the creative director at Critical Forge. Hi, I'm Milo. I'm the lead game designer at Critical Forge. Force of Blood is a fantasy tactical RPG that plays heavy emphasis on tactical combat as a core gameplay loop. The vision for Forge of Blood is to create a really unique experience, and especially taking some of the older elements of fantasy tactical RPGs into the modern world. And uh, you know, we hope that we can merge you know, the elements that have really worked in the past with some of the more modern sensibilities that we see now in games today. Yeah. My focus on Forge of Blood has been to give the players as much freedom of choice as possible, to allow them to craft the, their characters for the play style they wish to play. Uh, the game offers nine uh, weapons. Each of the weapons have their own unique skill tree. Uh, aside from that, we also have what we call a general abilities that's independent of what the weapon you pick. We also have the magic tree that if you want to specialize on the magic, you can pursue that ma uh, magic tree. While it would never be possible to have the complete freedom of a tabletop game in a computer game, we have created a game that has more freedom than I've seen in games I have played. One of the design pillars that we adhere to is what we call a meaningful choice. We get across the, this notion that you know, there is no good, there is no evil, things aren't binary. We wanted to create a situation for this world and for our game in, wherein the player will be forced to do potentially harsh things, potentially dark things, but for very good reasons. And it's also important to approach these things away from the modern sensibilities of morality. We're taking this project to Kickstarter because we need your help in completing this vision of Forge the blood that we have. And while we can 
complete the game and we have dedicated our savings and our lives to finishing this project, there are things that we can expand upon with your help. The first thing that we want to achieve is to expand the writing team and also the voice acting. Narrative is a big part of the achievement of this game and by having more uh, writers in the team means that we can have more uh, choice and also the consequences of those choice. Secondly, you know, we'd really like to expand on the music. Uh, we're working with a really talented local composer and you know, being able to retain him for additional services as, such as you know, creating soundtracks that are specific to each region, to specific scenarios in the combat would just bring this world that we've spent so much time in crafting and building like, that much more alive. Additionally, we have a very complex magic system. First, you will select the type of spell you want it to be based off the primordial energy. And then after you select that, you can apply effects to it, such as uh, teleport or fire damage or uh, healing, things of that nature. And then after that, you can also modify the effects and modify the spell, in, the spell in general. Having these additional funds means we can expand the VFX team, means we can spend more time researching and creating effects that make you know, these fantasy worlds come to life and helping us making that a reality would be just tremendous. When we first began working and we defined the game that we wished to make, it seemed a bit too ambitious given the size of our studio. However, at this point, we already have majority of the mechanics necessary for the spell system functioning. We have the minimal number of people needed to do it, but at the same time, we have the right people to do it. And how everything has come together in such a short amount of time is quite frankly astounding. That is a testament to the talent we have at the studio, and that is a testament to how we've approached production and development in general. Critical Thoughts is indeed a newly formed studio. We do not have any previous game that we can show you. What I hope to show you is that the evidence of our work in the past one year, you have the screenshot, you have the video to uh, see what we have been up to. At this point of time, the majority of the mechanic has been implemented. All we need to do is actually uh, finish up the content of the game. There's a lot of ways you can help make Forge of Blood a reality. Uh, anything from donating to this campaign, to just helping us spread the word, to helping us get through Steam Greenlight will be a big help to us. Everything below is the information that we think you, um, you will need to make a decision to help us, and hopefully it speaks to our work. And so, you know, if you have the chance, if you want to see us succeed, you know, please you know, donate and donate generously. From all of us here at Critical Forge, you know, thank you so much. You know, we, this is, for us, it's been just a journey of incredible challenges and adventures, but it's one that we would not have missed for the world. And the fact that you're sitting here watching this and spent giving us your time it means everything to us. So, you know, please comment, please feel free to reach out through email uh, or any of our social channels, and we'd love to start a dialogue with you. This is an adventure that is very much a part of your lives as it is ours, and we'd like to have you with us on this journey.